it's really a mixture. I'm a bit scared about uh, be shot out. <laughs> um, uh, but the, today I want to be a uh, play as an artist <laughs> because I have been teaching over 25 years in the KO University, another competitor against the Ritz Maker <laughs> in the in the eastern area. <laughs> And uh, um, there was a SFC, Shonan Suisa campus, emerged in 1989. I was joined to be there, and the campus was totally interdisciplinary campus. I was very influenced, and I enjoyed a lot about to teach with uh, Jumurai and the other um, important uh, en engineer. But actually, he's not really an engineer, so a very interesting person. But today I try to focus on to one of the series of the project uh, about the monument. Um, because um, I have been using the internet and the computer a lot and uh, try to find out uh, uh, some specific uh, dimension of the technology which is not used for the capitalism. So <laughs> in, in these uh, months, I'm saying my m most important motto is I want to free the uh, uh, technology from capitalism. <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, the, uh, capitalism, of course, you know, uh, uh, Marx said technology can make things cheaper and faster. So the cap for the capitalist, technology is very important to make uh, uh, interest. But uh, for, for the artist, technology is also very interesting, but there are more, than, more interesting aspects inside the technology which was not used for the capitalism or consumer product. Then, okay, the very first project I did in the SFC is, uh, 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 this is the first webcam in Japan. So we just set up the camera inside my laboratory. Uh, the title was Peephole. But uh, at the certain moment, suddenly the access was increasingly 10 times or 20 times. Then my students, to analyze why this I increasing had happened, then I, we found there was one a homepage saying, Japanese young girls, you can see Japanese young girls. <laughs> Then uh, we discussed a lot whether we, we should continue this uh, webcam or not. Because, uh, of course, you know, young students uh, spend a long time, even in the, in the night, they spend the whole night to do some uh, assignment. Then sometimes they, they sit down on the sofa. So these, you know, ladies were captured by some other person from the US. So then we stopped this project. But according to this project, uh, we started to discuss a lot because we didn't know who is accessing to this website, the webcam. Of course, we should know them. It's, it's not fair. So the web page must be fair. And also, uh, when we access one pages, then in the same time, there is another person might be accessing. So it might be good to know the other person who is accessing on the same page. Then we made a, one project. Uh, this is uh, the title is Light on the Net. And uh, there is the physical lamps where exist 49 lamps, uh, 7 by 7 matrix. And uh, the left side is an actual uh, website. When you click one of the image of the lamp, oh, there is a finger, hand, it exists, that's a castle. When you click the one with the lamp, then the physical lamp, the status of the physical lamp is alternate. Then the capture, and the image was captured, then the page was refreshed, then you will see the, the difference. But the, uh, if someone is accessing at the same time, if you change the lamp, of, of, uh, for example, like the far right top side, but the far left on the bottom side was also changed, then you will understand, oh, someone is also exist, accessing to the same page. <coughs> then I made, there is a, just a 10 list of the uh, domain name uh, who is accessing to this uh, uh, page. In this case, uh, uh, this ZKMT uh, was my access, and this one is another person, I don't know, from the U US, dial up, dial up, it's very old. <laughs> <laughs> So in this, uh, in the 1998, 
usually we need to wait 15 seconds to refresh the, the, the home page. So this is just a, a kind of a, a certification of the slowness of the internet in 1998. But maybe uh, if we set up the same system, uh, immediately we can get the image. So this is the difference. But uh, uh, yeah, anyhow, there is uh, one lady uh, happily came here because she, she is uh, all now teaching at the EMS, and this project was in in the same building of the EMS is now. So then we've been discussing a lot about whether we can put it back this project or not. This is very interesting discussion because uh, the the speed of the internet was changed. Then whether we can also play this page or not. And also, I believe this project is a kind of criticism against web browser. But now most of the people doesn't use web browser. Web browser is just a promotion, and people are using SNS more than uh, web pages. So the condition is very different. So I, I really hope put it back <laughs> to observe what we can see. But, ah, okay. I will show it. Uh, this is the the video I reconstructed from the uh, old data, which was uh, saved in the PC. So you can see the list of the people is accessing, and sometimes people are chasing each other. So I think there's three person is chasing, yeah. Then at last one person gets, and then he draw a heart. Then few minutes. Maybe time, maybe five minutes later. This is uh, 120 times faster than the real speed. Then, you know, now two people chasing, but uh, at last, uh, yeah, two, two people get together to write on the high. So, <laughs> this, this is a kind of a, uh, a, 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 a how do you say, mm, moment people chasing or uh, without any word, just that. Uh, on or off, they uh, they communicate, and then at last someone some uh, some uh, one of the side was convinced, or some other uh, person tried to you know, attack. Then this kind of you know a result was come out. Then uh, this is kind of in initiation of my idea of meta monument because. Uh, uh, monument was made because of the community was exist. So when the community start up, then the monument rise up. Or uh, after the monument was uh, was established, then the community will start up. Uh, maybe you may know the uh, Jean Jacques Rousseau uh, talked about uh, theoretical play, uh, theatrical play. He he made uh, he said a uh, very interesting sentence. When a person put a stake on the open space with a flower, mm -hmm. this is the starting point for the play. This is a very famous sentence coined by Jean Jacques Rousseau. So this is a kind of moment I try to put a stake on the internet. Then I, we observe what will happen with the people. So it's a very small community. <laughs> uh, in, in the in the moment, but uh, uh, it, it 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 has a long duration. So, it, for example, like uh, one month, uh, about uh, thousands of people play with here. Then the, the you know all the people share the moment. So this is a memory. This is an object. This is a place for the memory of sharing that place. Then also I'm questioning. Is this the place? This is not the physical place. Actually, there is another physical place that exists. So this is a point, I think. So using uh, me metaphorical space, then people could access to the physical place. But that's a quite attractive point. Uh, that's why I said I put the stake on the, the public space, like a, like a lamp controlled by computer. And uh, a second example is about uh, a title is Voices of Aliveness. And uh, this project is about collect the shouts. So I invite 
uh, local re residents and uh, give them a bicycle with the microphone and the camera. Then I look, I, I collect all the shells. So it's a three minutes movie. I will show you the movie. <laughs> This is an art project for making a collection of people's shouts. We designed a special medium where people can join. And also we challenge to connect real space and digital space into a new format. Actually, we invite people to shout in the location at La Martiniere, a public park along the River Loire in Nantes, in France. We set up a special circuit, I mean a pass, for the bicycle. And the bicycle equipped with video plus GPS camera. And then uh, people while riding on the bicycle shout and this image and sound were recorded. <laughs> After we captured data, we put these into the computer and processed to organize 3D data in a cyberspace. While we deliver each one, I mean uh, each path made by each participant as a layer, we can make a tower shape or a, let's say tunnel shape we can make. This is not exist in real space. We just see the data on the display and of course we can share the image with other people. So this is not the conventional monument for keeping collective memory. I mean a kind of physical uh, monument or statue or building or bridge and so on. But this is rather symbolic image and also functioning like a place Actually, it's a medium for generating memory. This is important. So this is the project to generate memory into a new form of monument. I've been saying this concept as a meta monument with collective memory. Anyway, this is still ongoing project. We are now planning to do a second recording event in October at the same location. Please come and join us. Thank you. Yeah, I would like to add two points uh, uh, as an artist because uh, each uh, participant uh, shout according to the Morse code. The Morse code indicating their uh, uh, first name. So some all the shouts is saying their name according to their uh, by using a Morse code, and also why I choose to use the shout because when you were born into this world, you did shout, yeah, at the beginning. Then uh, and also uh, when you grown up, you are not allowed to shout on the street, yeah, <laughs> as an adult gentle person then I would like to allow them to shout here. Then, you know, you can reset your life by shouting. So this is the concept. Then uh, another interesting aspect for this project is the, um, how can we externalize the memory by using digital technology? So in this project, I used three, 3D stereoscopic projection. Uh, like, like this room and people with uh, uh, polarized glasses then you can see the, all the shelters by video the video is floating in the air this is the way of showing but also uh, as you saw it on the website there is a database people can see choose one one uh, uh, one shout and you can replay 
the the, the shells. So there's two way to show this the same piece. But also I use the uh, augmented reality. Uh, so this is a book I I uh, published two, uh, two years ago. But in, in this booklet. That is the paper uh, uh, of the map of the location. So on, on this it's, map... I, I'm sorry. It's published in France, so you can... Uh, <laughs> Thank you for promotion. <laughs> <laughs> so two, two years ago, actually, um, you, you can buy it from the internet. And uh, the, the book compiled almost of more, all, of all, most of all my art pieces. So you can see over 60 videos and five different 3D models you can interact. Oh, sorry. Activity. Yeah, so this is the one. Different from uh, what was the example of the 3D? Past. Because the camera feeds you inside this case. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, the next one. So this is the my actual uh, area I focused on. And on this on top of this map you can see the same content. So if I have the data we, I, okay, the we last can make uh, is many different type of output. I think this is how of the uh, data. This is the original artwork itself in this case. Voices of Aliveness is a project with local residents to collect uh, shouts yes, with same, video same, same, and location same. data. We did it to this project in that in France. As you see, world data which is moving down. You see the park where the project was realized. So the augmented reality. Yeah, one of the Thanks for augmented reality technology. Now each user can browse content by their own curiosity. Yeah. So in this case, um, I totally focused on to make a beautiful book about to, uh, about to compile all of my work as a as a physical object. But also I need to connect. Uh, videos because uh, the, the image and text is not enough to tell what I did. Then I need to use a video. But uh, it, now, you know, there is a DVD or a video tape or a YouTube. But maybe the augmented reality, the best way to connect the paper material with the, this kind of, how do you say, digital data. Then I choose the augmented reality and uh, I, I, mean, I nearly spent three years to complete this one and then I was very much convinced to to enjoy AR technology then the okay the, the, the next project is totally about the augmented reality and the focus on the heritage of uh, uh, Hong Kong and so this is the, uh, another connection of a, of a meta monument because uh, this project starts from uh, old photography uh, at the library. Uh, I choose, I, I look a lot and uh, I choose about uh, 50 photographs and try to reconstruct this human figure by, by using the actors and volunteers with, a, how do you say, a professional costume designer, a hair designer, and using special technology transform using special technology to transform uh, image to 3D data. So it's a collaboration with uh, uh, three schools in Hong Kong. One is the Hong Kong City University of School of Creative Media, maybe you know. And uh, there's another school, uh, Academy of uh, Performing Arts. So they helped us to uh, find out the props and the costumes and makeups. And um, yeah, this is the studio. I set it up using uh, 70 cameras. And uh, all the 70 cameras, uh, by, by using special uh, circuit to synchronize, to shot one, one shot together. And uh, 
then we can get the, these, you know, images. Uh, the, the angle is slightly different, up and down and left and right. Then using special software, we can get the 3D model in the middle. And this blue rectangle is, is indicating the, the camera position. So this is a, a special software uh, people engineer and people saying photogrammetry. So the algo technology photogrammetry was uh, invented for making map. So using two or three aerial photo to detect the height of mountain. So uh, after that, uh, we use this algorithm attached to make 3D human figures. Uh, Oshima-san is uh, knows better than me. <laughs> but anyhow, uh, this, this technology is now cheaper than before now, so we can use this uh, uh, software, uh, not for the laboratory level, more commercial use or how you say public, we can use this uh, software more easily. Then, uh, this is the, the, an example I, I captured for my iPhone. So background is uh, actual Tokyo, and here is uh, the person from the past. So he is eating peanuts with a beer. So other people around there didn't see, but only my iPhone can show you uh, these these people's existence over wrapped on the present of the present time. One more example. Shinada so, Station. So the mom, mom is waiting the father. That. So I, I should say because uh, uh, this this production. Uh, behind this production, the narrative is very important. Uh, depend on the narrative, the, the figure, uh, the meaning of the figure is, uh, you know, uh, it, uh, misleading. So I have to find out a certain location with a certain human figure. And then uh, when I uh, direct the actors uh, at the studio, I really need to prepare a lot about micro narratives why they are doing there why they are walking there what are they going to do then i made a workshop with a local resident to show these photos it is so interesting they immediately react oh this is this this is then I, I capture a lot of you know information then i use these words for dialect the actors that's why this you know, human figure can fit with the location. Otherwise, it will be just a demonstration of a photogram to you and the AR. Then I think you uh, uh, have some curiosity background of this project because uh, uh, this project was initiated by Osage Art Foundation. Osage Art Foundation has an Osage Gallery, one of the very famous uh, contemporary art gallery in Hong Kong very successful, but she also has a art foundation, it's a non-profit organization. And she has very eager to make educational condition in Hong Kong um, made more how do you say, habitable, more energetic, more dynamic. Then she promotes uh, this word, Hong Kong Act. Uh, Hong Kong Act is art, culture, technology, and innovation. And under this concept, I talked a lot with uh, um, uh, Miss Agnes uh, about using AR. I, I think I spent over half a year to conclude, to launch this project. So this, my project title is Be Here, is Act 1, Kama 1.1. That means totally the first project under the concept of Hong Kong Act. And uh, Hong Kong Act is yeah, this is the kind of beautiful words, like a vision of the future. <laughs> and uh, to focus on to Hong Kong and uh, 
merging art and te- culture and technology it's a beautiful words are there but uh, as i understand as you know after the 1997 when the uk left for the hong kong suddenly they start to need to face with the uh, mainland china government so until then they did not have any experience about to you know govern the city so now it's very very important to think about what is the identity of hong kongese people then history is very important. But uh, not only the book, but also um, visually or using technology to attract young people to see the past. So this is a perfect, you know, cross section between technology and the, 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 the uh, culture and history. So then, yeah. Yeah, this is the, the almost the, the topic I, I took, already told you. So then, uh, that, that's why this uh, project was launched. And I, I want to show you the, the credit because uh, so, and so that, uh, and finally the Hong Kong Tourist Commission gave us a budget. Then we are going to launch this project in December. Uh, in this December, if you have a time and. Uh, uh, spare time <laughs> please join us for the opening then we are going to make a tour and i, I really hope uh after launching this project many residents start to use application down, just to download the application and there is a button for make a photo then i i believe people start to upload the photo to instagram or a fo- facebook then this will be a kind of mouse on the, 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 the ones on mouse. Then people come back. And then maybe mother and father and parents try to show the photo, uh, take a photo with the baby, boys and girls, and tell them what was in the 50s and 60s. So this is a kind of project. So then uh, can I add one sentence? Yeah, because um, uh, I think this is very important thing about to realize something. So I believe in the, in the 20th century, the most important uh, pro- product for the academician was a paper. I believe 21st century might be different. Naturally, I know several uh, projects are already starting and uh, not, not producing the paper but I don't know, some of the people is talking about images, by using images. Uh, uh, image will be a product of academia. Some of the people start to talk about. Uh, and uh, uh, for me, a uh, few years ago, I, when I did the keynote speech, I said from document to event. So event driven, event driven is the only a way to energize the people, passionate the people to get together and to invent something together. So otherwise, you know, this I, I'm already bored about discussion. So <laughs> I, I think it's really better to climb up Mount, Mount Fuji together. It's better to understand the, what is the Japan. <laughs> you will see t- t- temples and shrines, and the strange people also uh, climb up Mount Fuji. So I think this is more uh, a good way to understand the culture. So all, all of these, uh, this project, I hope success. Uh, and I believe one of the most uh, uh, know, successful AR project, I, I, I believe this project might be a most successful AR project. Thank you. Very well, thank you. <laughs> um, before we bring that panel up here, um, maybe if we can just open to a couple of questions, because I think um, this talk has really kind of linked back into the keynote in a really nice way, thinking about memories and, and the layers and the overlays and thinking about technology um, and into the social and cultural dimensions. So I'll just open up for a question or two and then we'll bring the panel up here for um, some general questions. Thank, Thank you so you. much. I'm very humbled by your work. It's really wonderful. And I would like to talk more about it. But I'm ask, I would like to know a little bit about how you personally manage 
to work across so many mm. disciplines mm. to accomplish mm. a project like this. Um, obviously, it takes a long time, yes. and there are many um, parties involved. But yeah. what would you identify maybe as one of the largest challenges, and then how do you manage it? Mm. I, actually, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Um, of course, this kind of project starts from proposal. It is completely different from a conventional artwork. Usually, artwork made by a, a artist personally. Then after the artist start to sell it, show it in the gallery. But in this case, everything starts from a proposal. So I have to write a proposal which was not exist yet. It's just a concept. But uh, in this case, uh, 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 Miss uh, uh, Agnes is my counterpart. So she has a wish to change the cultural condition in Hong Kong. Then she feel or she believe Masaki must can do something. Then the things start. Then I need to spend, as I told you, over six months discuss a lot by Skype, visiting Hong Kong frequently, and I made, I think, ten different proposals. So each time we discuss about mm, Masaki, this is <laughs> and, uh, But in this case, uh, we agreed a lot. But uh, when we start the project, uh, we recognized we have more money. <laughs> because <laughs> at the beginning uh, we uh, uh, worked with uh, uh, the SCM School of Creative Media because uh, I asked Jeffrey, he's my best friend, about to get the camera. Uh, oh, Jeffrey, do we have many cameras? <laughs> and he said, oh yes, we have many. Yes. <laughs> the things started. If they don't have a camera, uh, the project will not start. So then we will choose another proposal. But the things start with the uh, SCM. Then after we talked with the Academy of Performing Arts, are there any uh, costume? <laughs> 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 yeah, then, oh, of course we have, and they can help me. Then the things start, and the second time we do a workshop with them and they make, a, make a shooting at the Performing Arts, the School of Performing Arts. Then, at last, the Baptist University, there is the uh, film school. So now uh, they ask me to be a guest professor for the Baptist University to consult to, to make a new VR AR studio. So I have to ask Oshima-san to come to Baptist University. <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of sequentially things happen. So the idea evolving with just the two person and visiting, talking, 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 talking. Then we start to involve other people. Then, then things growing, growing, growing. This is the fact. So hopefully we can use that um, example that you're giving as a way to be thinking about the workshop over the next couple of days in terms of how we yeah. you know, bring together relationships and insights and then think about some mm. future collaboration. So I'm okay. gonna now just open it up to the three panelists um, but I was wondering whether before I open up to the audience, whether the three panellists have any questions for each other first, because I mean you already mentioned with 